Well, I've, I've had my baptism by a couple of things. <laughs> remember a video that act, literally made tears roll down my face was watching the real ID protests of I think 2006 and seeing people carrying firearms on the steps of the state legislature and they were out there in great numbers and they were pissed and I said oh my god God, I had never seen people open carry firearms before. And to see them doing it there and in the context of a protest, I thought, oh my God, I've got to be there. I don't know what hill I'm going to die on, but I know it's going to be in New Hampshire. 75% of the people at the 420 rallies were locals. And these locals, a lot of them high school kids, as I'm getting arrested, are chanting, Freedom! 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 And it was just a, an amazing feeling to have that going on and, and, and to hear that from like normal people, people who didn't come here as members of the Free State Project. I always try to remind people that activism out in the street is performance art. You can be within your rights and still be doing the wrong activism. You're telling people things that they don't want to hear. Is your audience coming away with the thoughts and feelings that you wanted to give them? Open carry is another form of day-to-day -day activism. I, until I became a felon, I open carried every single day. I was known for it, and it was partially because I was in a dangerous business, but it was also because I wanted as many New Hampshireites as possible to remember a positive experience with a guy who had a gun on their hip, because usually you see a gun on somebody's hip, you think he's a cop, no wonder you're scared. The importance of the issue to me is very personal because I had a girlfriend who died in 2002 of cervical cancer and I believe that if she had been f free of the war on drugs that she may well have survived that incident and it was when that happened that, that government became my white whale when I said okay government killed my girl and I'm gonna kill government. I will fight. And this is kind of my back against the wall. You know, I don't have anywhere to go from here. I came to New Hampshire because I gave up on the rest of the world. You know, if you become a public person, you have to expect a certain amount of attack, especially if you're, you know, opposing the government. My arrest on the drug charges, I think that scared a lot of people. People were really scared because this was serious stuff. I mean. When the FBI talked to me, they, what they told me is you could do 81 years for what you're doing. And I mean, when you're in the clutches of the FBI and they're asking you to wear a wire, it's like, yeah, and what's going to be in the briefcase? A bomb? I was absolutely terrified, and I'm sure everybody around me was scared to death that we were about to get Waco'd. But I didn't expect it. On the night that I was arrested, I was living at the KAC. And I went home and told them I was arrested, and they asked me to wear a wire, and I told them I wasn't going to do it, and I got to go talk to a lawyer tomorrow. And what the person who was running the CAC at the time uh, said to me was, well, you can't sleep here tonight. And so my girl and I, we set out to, to sleep in the car, and about a little while after we left, I got a call from Ian Freeman saying, I, I just called. I just heard about this, and please come stay at my place. You know, the, the, at least the haters within the movement would take some time off when I got out of jail and give me time to regroup. And, you know, instead they were, they were right on me, and that was kind of painful and difficult. Sorry, man, it's very brave. You didn't do anything wrong, and you know that. Y'all haven't seen the last of it. There's only one camera allowed. You can't be using another camera. I'm going to take my friend for 81 years, T-Ball. Stop distracting.
distracting from this moment, seriously. He was I love there. you, baby. I love you too, sweetie. Love I'm you, man. I'm so proud of you. You're a hero. Thank we you. love you, Bridge. Love you, man. See you soon, love you, man. Other reason for moving lots of people to New Hampshire is I'm running out of people I haven't pissed off yet. <laughs>